This beginning level recorded class is designed for all team members and provides instruction on using the CS7600 imaging plate system. You can view each topic in the order in which it is presented, or you can jump to the topic of your choice by clicking its link in the navigation tree on the left. By the end of this class, you should be able to understand the basic components of the CS7600 system, acquire images using the CS7600 Scan and Go device, acquire images without using the Scan and Go device, process and edit your scanned images, retrieve images from the scanner, and maintain the system. Overview of the CS7600 system. Congratulations on the purchase of your new CS7600 Interaural Imaging Plate System. This sleek and compact system scans and reviews intraoral dental x-ray images with an innovative and intelligent workflow and smart plate technology. The CS7600 system is composed of the scanner unit, acquisition interface, smart intraoral imaging plates, and an imaging plate transportation box and pad. An optional accessory is the innovative CS7600 Scan and Go device. The CS7600 scanner provides easy to understand prompts on its large 3.5 inch color LCD screen. Configure scanner settings, view a quick digital image preview, and erase imaging plates if needed, all from the LCD screen and the three buttons on the front of the device. In addition to its intuitive operation, the scanner also produces superior image quality and fast results. It offers three image resolutions, up to 17 line pairs per millimeter true resolution, and can produce a scanned image within five seconds. Its ergonomic design with a convenient tray that catches the imaging plate after scanning makes it the perfect solution for use chairside or shared between operatories. Set on a desk or shelf, or mounted to the wall, the compact design of the CS7600 scanner enables you to add it to any space in your practice. Integration and installation of the scanner is as convenient as its ergonomic design. The scanner can be connected directly to a workstation for chairside use, connected to your practice network to be shared by multiple operatories, or connected to a LAN configuration, allowing for multiple scanners in the same office. It integrates with our imaging, acquisition, and practice management software. The CS7600 Acquisition Interface is an intuitive application designed and developed specifically for the 7600 system. It provides a rich array of imaging processing options and acquisition functions. The Acquisition Interface provides two operation modes, Full Mouth Series and Acquisition, an automatic dynamic addition of frames according to the number of images acquired. The scanner accommodates five sizes of specially designed imaging plates, 0 to 4. When used in conjunction with the optional CS7600 Scan and Go device, the smart plate technology of these unique intraoral imaging plates enhances the automated workflow of the 7600 system by recording patient and exam information and detecting the proper plate side. By simply placing the CS7600 smart plate over the scan and go device, patient information is captured and the imaging plate is linked to a specific exam acquisition. There is no need to touch the scanner or your PC keyboard prior to plate exposure. Scanned images are then routed automatically to the correct workstation and placed in the correct frame in the acquisition interface. Acquiring images using the CS7600 Scan and Go device. While an optional accessory, the innovative Scan and Go device provides added efficiency to the image acquisition process. Acquiring an image using the optional Scan and Go device begins by selecting the mode in which you want to work. Select the appropriate imaging plate and insert it into a CS7600 hygienic sheath. Place the imaging plate over the Scan and Go device to take advantage of the smart function of the plate. Instantly, patient and exam acquisition data are recorded to the imaging plate. Keep in mind that more than one Scan and Go device may be used simultaneously in the office. 
For instance, a hygienist in one operatory can record an imaging plate for Dr. Smith, while a hygienist in another operatory simultaneously records an imaging plate for Dr. Jones. The scan and go devices work independently of each other, and the imaging plates tell the scanner where to route each image. After recording the imaging plate with the scan and go device, place the imaging plate in the patient's mouth and perform the required x-ray according to your clinical procedure. After exposure, disinfect the hygienic sheath and insert the imaging plate into the scanner. The scan begins automatically. Reading the recorded information from the imaging plate, the scanner sends the scanned image to the proper workstation, regardless of how many operatories are scanning images at the same time or when the imaging plates are inserted into the scanner. When the scan is finished, the imaging plate is ejected into the plate tray. The imaging plate is now ready to be disinfected and used again, and the scanned image may be edited and stored. Now we will review in detail the process of acquiring an image using the optional Scan and Go device. Begin from the imaging window in the dental imaging software. Start the acquisition interface by selecting the mode in which you want to work. The 7600 system offers two modes in which to acquire images, FMS or Full Mouse Series mode and Acquisition mode. Click the CR icon to select the Acquisition mode, a dynamic addition of frames according to the number of images acquired. Click the CR2 icon to select the FMS mode. This mode enables you to click a frame in the FMS template to indicate where the first scanned image should be placed. Otherwise, the next available frame will be selected by default. Next, ensure that the Scan and Go device is connected. In the Acquisition interface, the Scan and Go USB icon is displayed in white in the upper right corner. If the USB icon is displayed in red, the Scan and Go device is not connected. When using Acquisition mode, as shown here, click the Tooth Selection arrow to select individual teeth in either child or adult dentitions. This is an optional step, however, if a dentition is not selected, the frame will not include tooth number details. Next, confirm the scan resolution to be applied when recording information on the imaging plates with the Scan and Go device. To change the scan resolution for the current exam acquisition, click the resolution icon and select from high speed, high resolution, or super high resolution. It is important to keep the acquisition interface open during the entire exam acquisition session. If it is closed, the scanned image is stored in the scanner's memory. The scanner's storage capacity is 25 images. Next, select the proper imaging plate size for the image you are taking. Ensure that you are wearing hygienic gloves before handling the imaging plate to avoid contamination or damage to the plate. The scanner accommodates five different sized imaging plates 0 to 4. It is important to use only reusable CS7600 smart plates and hygienic sheaths. If used with care, the imaging plates can be used repeatedly. If you choose to use imaging plates sized 0 through 3, you must also use the size 0 through 3 detachable insertion panel on the scanner. If you choose to use a size 4 imaging plate, ensure that you are using the size 4 detachable insertion panel. Insert the imaging plate into the protective disposable hygienic sheath with the inactive side of the plate facing the adhesive strip. Ensure that the plate is inserted all the way to the end of the sheath. The imaging plate size number should be visible through the transparent side of the hygienic sheath as you slide the plate in, and the orientation mark should be visible in the lower corner. Peel the adhesive strip's protective paper and fold it over to seal the hygienic sheath ensuring that the sealed end does not overlap the plate inside. Handle the imaging plate by holding the sealed edge of the hygienic sheath. To continue with the process of acquiring images using a Scan and Go device, click the button of the Scan and Go device. To continue with the process of acquiring images without using a Scan and Go device, click the button of the Scan and Go device with an X over it. Next, place the imaging plate over the Scan and Go device. This simple action automatically records exam acquisition information to the imaging plate, including the workstation being used, the exam acquisition number, the patient's name, the frame number to which the image should be sent, 
and the selected resolution of the scan. An audible beep and a series of successive blinks of the blue LED on the top of the Scan and Go device indicate the exam acquisition information was recorded. Additionally, the acquisition interface marks the corresponding frame as recorded by changing the color of the frame number to green. If you need to record information again on an imaging plate that already has information on it, place the imaging plate over the Scan and Go device again. The acquisition interface displays a prompt asking if you want to override the imaging plate recorded data. Click OK to record the imaging plate again. If you decide not to record the imaging plate again, click Cancel, or simply move the imaging plate away from the Scan and Go device. With the imaging plate properly prepared, insert it into the patient's mouth using a positioning device and perform the required x-ray according to your clinical procedure. Position the imaging plate in the mouth with the orientation mark toward the bottom. The exposed teeth should be in between the x-ray cone and the active side of the plate. When the x-ray is finished, remove the imaging plate from the patient's mouth, but do not remove it from the hygienic sheath. The sheath minimizes the plate's exposure to light and helps to protect against degradation of image quality. Wipe and disinfect the hygienic sheath, being careful not to expose the imaging plate to the disinfecting solution. Discard your protective gloves and replace them with a new pair. You can now take the imaging plate to the scanner. If you are taking multiple x-rays, you can organize the plates in their disinfected sheaths in the CS7600 transportation box and then take all of the imaging plates to the scanner at once to be scanned. To continue with the process of acquiring images using a Scan and Go device, click the button of the Scan and Go device. To continue with the process of acquiring images without using a Scan and Go device, click the button of the Scan and Go device with an X over it. Wearing a new pair of clean protective gloves, hold the imaging plate by the end with the printed dot and tear open the hygienic sheath vertically at its sealed end. Be careful not to touch the imaging plate or remove it from the sheath. If using an imaging plate size 0 through 2, hold the plate by the sealed end. If using an imaging plate size 3 or 4, hold the middle of the plate. Insert the exposed imaging plate into the scanner by positioning the open side of the sheath at the bottom of the insertion panel slot with the foam side facing away from the scanner's LCD screen. The scanner will not accept the imaging plate if it is inserted with the foam side facing the LCD screen. Gently squeeze the end of the hygienic sheath, forcing the tip of the imaging plate into the insertion slot. Ensure that the plate enters the insertion slot horizontally not tilted in any direction. When using an imaging plate size 0 through 2, gently push the end of the imaging plate with your thumb until it is drawn into the insertion slot by the scanner. The protective sheath will not slot holding the middle of the plate. Dispose of the hygienic sheath to ensure that it is not used again. Scanning begins immediately once the plate is drawn into the scanner. As the patient's name and the workstation name are retrieved from the imaging plate, the scanner's LCD screen displays a blinking blue scan and go device indicator. Depending on the selected resolution, the scanned image gradually displays on the scanner's LCD screen. When the scan is finished, the image is sent to the appropriate workstation and can be reviewed and edited using the acquisition interface. The scanner erases the imaging plate, including all scan and go information, and the plate is ejected from the scanner into the lower plate tray. Disinfect the imaging plate after every use. See the CS7600 user guide included on the CD for information on properly cleaning and disinfecting the imaging plate. The plate is now ready to be used again. Acquiring images without using the Scan and Go device. Acquiring an image without the use of a Scan and Go device is an efficient process that fits naturally into your existing chairside workflow. Begin by opening the acquisition interface and selecting the mode in which you want to work. 
Select the appropriately sized imaging plate and insert it into the hygienic sheath. Place the imaging plate in the patient's mouth and perform the required x-rays according to your clinical procedure. After exposure, disinfect the hygienic sheath and insert the imaging plate into the scanner. Using the scanner navigation buttons, select the appropriate workstation from the list and confirm the scanning resolution. Start the scan and then collect the imaging plate from the plate tray when the scan is finished. The imaging plate is now ready to be disinfected and used again, and the scanned image may be edited and stored. Now, let's review in detail the process of acquiring an image without the use of a scan and go device. Begin from the imaging window in the dental imaging software. Start the acquisition interface by selecting the mode in which you want to work. The 7600 system offers two modes in which to acquire images, FMS or Full Mouth Series mode and Acquisition mode. Click the CR icon to select the Acquisition mode, a dynamic addition of frames according to the number of images acquired. Click the CR2 icon to select the FMS mode. This mode enables you to click a frame in the FMS template to indicate where the first scanned image should be placed. Otherwise, the next available frame will be selected by default. When using acquisition mode, as shown here, click the two selection arrow to select individual teeth in either child or adult dentitions. This is an optional step. However, if a dentition is not selected, the frame will not include tooth number details. It is important to keep the acquisition interface open during the entire exam acquisition session. If it is closed, the scanned image is stored in the scanner's memory. The scanner's storage capacity is 25 images. Click Continue. Wearing a new pair of clean, protective gloves, hold the imaging plate by the end with the printed dot and tear open the hygienic sheath vertically at its sealed end. Be careful not to touch the imaging plate or remove it from the sheath. If using an imaging plate size 0 through 2, hold the plate by the sealed end. If using an imaging plate size 3 or 4, hold the middle of the plate. Insert the exposed imaging plate into the scanner by positioning the open side of the sheath at the bottom of the insertion panel slot with the foam side facing away from the scanner's LCD screen. The scanner will not accept the imaging plate if it is inserted with the foam side facing the LCD screen. Gently squeeze the end of the hygienic sheath, forcing the tip of the imaging plate into the insertion slot. Ensure that the plate enters the insertion slot horizontally, not tilted in any direction. When using an imaging plate size 0 through 2, gently push the end of the imaging plate with your thumb until it is drawn into the insertion slot by the scanner. The protective sheath will not be drawn into the scanner. When using an imaging plate size 3 or 4, gently guide the plate into the insertion slot, holding the middle of the plate. Dispose of the hygienic sheath to ensure that it is not used again. Once the imaging plate is inserted into the scanner, the scanner's LCD screen displays a list of open patient exam acquisitions. Select the acquisition where you would like to send the scanned image. If the patient does not appear in the list, select the No ID option. The image will be kept in the scanner memory and can be retrieved afterwards. Next, verify the scanning resolution or change it. When not using a scan and go device to acquire an image, this is the only time that you can change the scan resolution for an imaging plate. To change the scanning resolution for a specific scan, press the scanner's right function button to toggle between the resolution levels HS for high speed, HR for high resolution, and SHR for super high resolution. The resolution displayed is the scan resolution. Press the middle function button, representing the check mark icon, on the scanner's LCD screen to begin the scan of the imaging plate. A preview of the scanned image displays on the LCD screen. When the scan is finished, the scanned image is sent automatically to the selected patient exam acquisition. The imaging plate is erased by the scanner and ejected into the plate tray. The plate is now ready to be disinfected and used again. Processing and editing your scanned images. When a scan is complete, ensure that it is placed in the proper frame of your exam template. If a scan and go device was used in the scanning process, 
each image retrieved from a recorded imaging plate populates the correct frame in the template regardless of the scanning sequence. If a Scan and Go device was not used in the scanning process, the scanned image populates the first available frame by the sequence order in an FMS template. If all frames are occupied, the new image is sent to the Image Gallery panel. When working with an Acquisition Mode template, a new frame is added for each new scanned image. To reorganize images manually, drag and drop an image to the frame you want. If the frame is already populated with an image, the image in the frame is moved automatically to the Image Gallery panel when the new image is dropped into the frame. The Image Gallery panel can be used to store images when rearranging the layout or for discarding an image. Click the appropriate deletion icon to delete a selected image or all images from the Image Gallery. Once the images are in the correct frames, use the Acquisition Interface Processing options to optimize the scanned image. Use the Rotation options to rotate the image 180 degrees or 90 degrees in either direction. In rare cases, a scanned image might contain the shadow of a marker on the imaging plate. Such a shadow indicates that the plate has been exposed from the wrong side. If the shadow of this marker is visible in the X-rayed image, the image orientation can be corrected using the mirroring tools in the acquisition interface. Flip the image horizontally or vertically as needed. If a diagnosis is not possible in the area of the marker shadow, the X-ray should be taken again. Use the Image Enhancement options to enhance the display of the image. Use the Periodontal option to optimize the display of periodontal tissues. Use the Endo option to optimize contrast over the entire image. Use the Dentin to Enamel Junctions option to optimize contrast at the Dentin to Enamel Junction. Use the Brightness slider to adjust the image's brightness manually. Use the Contrast slider to adjust the image's contrast manually. Click this icon to apply an automatic optimization of brightness and contrast. Click the Tooth and Pen icon to add a comment to the image. Comments are added to the DICOM tags of the image and can be viewed later using dental imaging software or a DICOM viewer. Click the Exposure and Pen icon to add custom X-ray exposure values to the image's DICOM header. If custom X-ray exposure values are not added, the default exposure values, as defined on the General Settings tab, display in the image's DICOM header. Refer to the X-ray exposure indicator to monitor the exposure status of the selected image. Partly red indicates an underexposed image. Review the X-ray technique and consider using increased exposure values for better image quality and diagnosis. Green indicates good exposure values. All red indicates that the image is overexposed. Review the X-ray technique and consider using lower exposure values for better image quality and diagnostics. To exit the acquisition interface, click the X icon in the top right corner of the window. Images are transferred from the acquisition interface to the imaging software automatically and you are returned to the imaging application. Retrieving Images from the Scanner Although proper workflow dictates that you should never have images left in the scanner's memory, there are situations when this might occur. It's important to note that the scanner's memory has a capacity of 25 images. When the scanner's memory nears its limit, the scan number icon on the LCD screen changes to red. If the memory is full, a message displays on the LCD screen. A new imaging plate will not be accepted into the scanner until the memory is cleared. Let's discuss two scenarios when you might need to retrieve or delete images from the scanner's memory. In the first scenario, assume the scanned image didn't make it to the acquisition exam because the acquisition interface was unavailable. Perhaps it was closed, there was a power outage, or there were network problems. Working from the acquisition interface, open a new exam acquisition to which the saved images belong. If more than one scanner is in use in your office, select the appropriate scanner from the scanner list. The unclaimed panel displays. Place your mouse over an image to view the recorded image information, scan date and time, and patient name if a scan and go device was used, or scan date and time if a scan and go device was not used. 
Select an image to retrieve and drag it to the correct place in the template or to the image gallery panel. Retrieved images can then be edited and saved to the imaging software as needed. If the images retrieved from the scanner are not needed, you can delete them. Doing so clears the scanner's memory. To delete a single image, select it in the image gallery and click the icon depicted by a single garbage can. To delete all images from the image gallery, click the icon depicted by a garbage can with three squares surrounding it. Now, let's consider another scenario when you might have images stored in the scanner's memory for retrieval or deletion. Assume when scanning images, the appropriate patient exam acquisition was not open, so you designated the images as no ID. No ID is a term for scanned images that are not associated with any exam acquisition. When you scan an image plate and select the No ID option in the scanner's patient selection screen, the scanned image is stored as a No ID image in the scanner's memory. To retrieve the No ID images, open the acquisition interface from the patient's file. If more than one scanner is in use in your office, select the appropriate scanner from the scanner list. The list of No ID images for the scanner displays. To aid in the identification process, move the mouse over an image to view the scan time and date. Select the correct image from the No ID list and drag it to the appropriate frame or to the image gallery panel. The exam acquisitions data is now associated with the image and the image is no longer identified as No ID. If an image is not needed, select and drag it to the image gallery and then click the icon depicted by a single garbage can. Maintaining the system. To view how to change and clean the scanner insertion panels, click the button of the detachable insertion panel. To skip this video, click Continue. The CS7600 scanner accommodates five sizes of smart imaging plates, 0 through 4. The size 4 imaging plate is larger than plate size 0 through 3, and therefore requires a larger insertion panel in which to insert an exposed plate. The scanner comes equipped with two detachable insertion panels, one for use with the 0 through 3 sized plates and a second for use with the size 4 plate. The insertion panels should be cleaned and disinfected daily to prevent cross-contamination. The removal and cleaning process is the same for both insertion panels. It is not necessary to turn off the scanner when removing a detachable insertion panel. Remove the installed insertion panel by inserting a finger in the designated removal depression at the bottom of the insertion panel and lifting out the insertion panel. Once the insertion panel is removed, the scanner's LCD screen displays a prompt to attach an insertion panel, either a size 0 through 3 or a size 4 panel. Use medical equipment disinfecting wipes to clean the detachable insertion panel thoroughly from all sides, including the insertion slot. Install a clean and disinfected insertion panel by positioning it at a 45 degree angle to the right side of the insertion panel's housing and pressing the panel in from right to left until it's completely inserted and locks into place. Once the insertion panel is attached again, the scanner's LCD screen displays an installation confirmation. Press the middle function button to accept and return to the main screen. The scanner rollers in the scanner should be cleaned when the scanner's LCD screen prompts you or whenever you suspect foreign matter is affecting the image. Note: Before you perform this cleaning procedure, make sure you have the CS7600 roller cleaning plate on hand. To clean the scanner rollers, begin by ensuring that the size 4 insertion panel is installed on the scanner. For directions on how to remove and replace the insertion panel, View the optional video at the beginning of this objective. Next, press the scanner's left function button to access the settings menu. The settings menu is indicated by the icon with the two slotted gears. Use the scanner's function buttons to select rollers cleaning from the list of settings. Press the middle function button to confirm your selection. The LCD screen prompts you to insert the cleaning plate. Peel the adhesive protective sheet from the roller cleaning plate. Position the plate at the opening of the insertion panel with the adhesive side of the plate facing the insertion slot. The black stripe on the plate should be located along the bottom of the plate facing away from the LCD screen. 
Gently insert the roller cleaning plate into the size 4 insertion panel slot until the scanner rollers draw it in. When the cleaning procedure is complete, the scanner displays a message instructing you to remove the cleaning plate. Remove the roller cleaning plate from the insertion slot by gently pulling it out. The cleaning procedure should be repeated three times to ensure that the rollers are thoroughly cleaned. This concludes the recorded class using the CS7600 imaging plate system. Now you should be able to understand the basic components of the CS7600 system, acquire images using the CS7600 scan-and-go device, acquire images without using the scan-and-go device, process and edit your scanned images, retrieve images from the scanner, and maintain the system. If you have any comments or questions about this class, please contact us and reference the content code located in the lower right corner of this slide.